guys, it's Lynn here for Superimposed X and today it's time for part one of our masking tutorial. We're gonna talk about how masks work and how to create and adjust a mask. So what exactly is a mask? Well, a mask is basically a way to remove certain parts of an image. That way you can combine different parts of a different pictures to create a new image. So when we mask something out, that means that we're removing a part of the image. It might sound a little confusing right now, but once we get started, it will all make sense. So I'm going to open up this photo of some palm trees. Then I'm going to add a second layer on top of this one, and I'm going to choose this flamingo picture. So what I want to do is remove this blue background around the flamingo so that I can place just the flamingo on top of these palm trees. That way it will look like the flamingo is standing in the middle of the jungle. Make sure that you have the layer that you want to mask selected and then tap the mask tab. In the bottom right corner, you can view all the different masking tools available and select which tool you would like to use. All of these different tools have different ways of masking and we'll go through each one of them in the next video in part two of this masking tutorial. But for now, I'm gonna use the smart brush tool. To start creating the mask, just simply paint over the part of the image that you want to remove. If you make a mistake or you change your mind, you can always remove part of the mask by tapping this erase button. Now the masking mode switches from erasing to restoring. So now if you paint over the image, you will instead bring part of the image back. To start erasing again, just tap restore and it will switch back to erase mode. Right next to mask tool, we have settings where you can adjust the settings and size of the brush. And here at the top, you can also choose between the different masking tools. I think I'm done with the masking now, but just to make sure that I haven't forgotten any spots, I'm gonna click this button up here to view only the selected layer without the background layer underneath. I can also click this eye to switch between different modes that show you the mask on different colored and blurred backgrounds. This makes it easier to view and adjust your mask since you can see the masked and unmasked areas much clearer. Then I'm gonna tap the same button again to go back to viewing the blended image. Now that I've masked out the background, I'm gonna go into transform to scale and position the flamingo where I want it. Now let's go back into the mask tab and take a look at the different masking features. In the bottom left corner, we have a clear, which clears the mask so that you can start over. Invert lets you invert the mask so that the areas you removed are now visible and the areas that were visible are now the ones removed. Sometimes it's easier to paint over the part of the image that you want to keep instead of the part that you want to remove. So in those cases, this is a really handy feature. Then we have a clip up, which is a completely unique feature for Superimpose X. This feature lets you transfer a mask from one layer to another. So with this project, for example, I could transfer this flamingo shape to the palm tree layers. To do that, I need to go into the layer stack viewer and move the palm tree layers on top of the flamingo layer. With this layer selected, I'm then gonna tap a clip up. And now as you can see, we have this really cool effect where we cut out the palm tree picture in the shape of a flamingo. This is a super fun feature that you can get really creative with, but for now, I'm gonna undo clip up and bring the flamingo layer back on top. Now let's take a look at a blur and shrink. If you feel like the edges of the mask look a little too harsh, you can use the blur tool to make them softer. Sometimes when you mask out an object, a thin border remains around the edges of the object, so you can easily get rid of this border by shrinking the mask a little bit. Or you can also expand it to make the mask bigger. That's all for this tutorial, I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to watch part two of our masking tutorial where we'll go through all the different masking tools. And if you have any questions at all, you're always welcome to send us an email through the contact us option inside the app so that we can help you out from there. Bye.